Today I'm going to share with you a script that you could use in your scenarios that will allow you to customize your loadout. Now here we are on the BI forms for Arma 3 and on the release thread for the virtual ammo box system also known as VAS. This script was created by Tonic and was released March 10th, 2013 before the official release of Arma 3, which was in September. Now, why am I reviewing a script released in 2013 when us regular and veteran players of Arma 3 pretty much already know about the script and have known about it since then? Well, considering that there has been a lot of players that have joined and started playing this game, there's a lot of players that may not know about Voss or many of the other scripts in the community for Arma 3, considering since there is no official website to download Voss at, this forum thread has a link where you can download the script. We'll scroll down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to link this thread in the description of the video. That way you can easily access it. And let's review the script. So here is a screenshot of the VAS system. You'll have a better idea once we get in game. We scroll down further. This is the download link for the script. We'll go over that in a minute. And here is the usage. So the usage, the way this works is in your scenario, in the editor, you basically place an ammo box unless you have one already and then once you have your ammo box you take this code right here and you put it into the INIT box of the ammo box and this is what calls the script into the action. The next thing that you do is you need another script called the description.ext. What you do is you take this code right here and put the code into that description.ext and then you put that into your mission folder. Let's go to the GitHub. So here in the GitHub, if you scroll down, this is basically the readme to the script. This is the forum thread that we were just on linked. This is the latest version. You can download the script, but see this is this is pointing to Armaholic, which doesn't exist anymore. So you're going to get a dead site. So basically this uh, goes over the installation and you know, this is code that you put in a description.ext. And then this is the code that, that you put into an ammo box. And then here's some other information, credits, etc. Now to actually download the script, you're going to go to this green box here that says code. You're going to click on the arrow and then you go down to where it says download zip. And then you'll get the script from that. We'll go over that in a minute. But first, let's go in game and set up a little mission that will allow us to add the VAS script to it and use it. All right, here we are on Stratus, and we're going to start off by placing a player. And we're going to place him right about here. And we're going to face him this way. Next, let's go to Props, and then we're going to type in Table. And then we're going to put down a Camping Table. And we're going to face this guy this way, right about there. And then we're going to type in ammo. And we're just going to put a basic weapons box for NATO. So we'll just go over here. And that's it. Alright, so that's going to be our scenario. And next, we're going to save our scenario. So we click on the save icon at the top left. And we're going to put this on the Stratus. We're going to name this Virtual System. Alright, so that's our scenario. That's our scenario name. Next, we're going to go to the top left where it says Scenario. And we're going to go down to where it says Open Scenario Folder we are in our mission folder and let's go back to the github and we're going to go to this green box and just click on the green box and go to where it says download zip click on that you'll get a dialog box that will open up asking you where do you want to save it me I'm just going to save it in my new videos folder and there it is alright so now that the script is downloaded here it is in my folder so what you're going to do is you're going to double click zip file you can extract it but I'm gonna just double click it'll open up 
and what you're going to see is a folder that says virtual ammo box system master you're going to open that folder and inside it you have a bunch of files the script is in this file here it says vos stratus we're going to just drag this to our mission folder we can close this we're not done yet what you need to do is open this folder again open this folder and you're going to grab the VAS folder and you're going to drag it inside. Then you're going to take the description.ext, drag it into your mission folder. You can do the INIT if you want, you don't really need it. And then take the string table as well. That's for translation. You put that in there and that's all you need. So you can just close that and then you could delete VAS.stratus. And that's it. Now remember, the VAS folder, the description.ext, and the string table is all you need to have in your scenario. If we open the description.ext, it will have some information in it, but what we really need is this code here, which is on the, if you scroll down, this is it's what this is right here so that's already done for us so the next thing we need to do which we haven't done yet is let's go back to the github and we'll go to this line here this code right here is basically the same code right here but we're going to take it from the git github you could actually just click on this here which will copy it and it'll say copied and what we'll do is we're going to go back into the mission and paste this code into our ammo box. Next, what you're going to do is you're going to double click the ammo box and you're going to go to the INIT box, click the open space and make sure you see a blinking cursor. Then you're going to press control V and that'll paste the code that we copied on the GitHub site. After that, all you need to do is just hit OK and we'll save our scenario and now we can play it. Once you start your mission up and you want to see what Voss looks like and start building a, a loadout, you just walk up to the ammo box and you scroll your action menu and you should see some red words that says virtual ammo box. Just hit enter and the virtual ammo box system will open up. So here you have the latest version of the script. Here's the title obviously. Here is the ammo box itself like all the stuff that you can pick from and here's the box for your current gear which you have this is the uniform that we currently have and this is the uh, vest that we currently have so if we click on items in the center this will show exactly what we have so let's remove this and just click on remove and we'll just leave the combat fatigue uniform as it is and of course we have a helmet too we'll just leave that as, as it is and let's choose a new vest so what you do is you can see uniforms vests headgear attachments misc etc so we'll just click on vests and that'll bring you to the vest section and we'll scroll down and choose a vest let's choose the chest rig khaki just add item and you'll see it appear here next we're probably going to want a weapon so let's go to weapons and clicking on this brings its own categories so we're going to choose rifles and we'll scroll down and let's choose let's choose the MK20 EGLM we'll add that now you can see the guy getting his gun out and before you close this dialog, what you want to do is you want to choose the ammo for this gun. So here's the ammo that shows up on the left. So you just click on one of, one of these. You could choose, choose tracers or whatever, but we're just going to choose this. And you just double click. And what that'll do is you'll see a number being added. So this is the, the name of the clip, how many rounds it is. And then the one signifies that it's one clip. So if you double click it again, it'll change to two because now you have two clips and as you can see the bar increases because these clips are being added to your uniform let's give a couple more clips 
and that's fine. So we'll scroll down and since it's a grenade launcher we'll click on the 40 millimeter HE grenade round. We'll double click that, that'll add a couple and we'll just give them just give them eight, that's fine. Alright, you could add more if you want. We're just gonna leave that as it is. So now that we have our weapon, we're gonna go to weapons again, and then we're gonna go down to where it says pistols. I always like to carry a pistol as a backup. And I'm gonna choose this one, the ACP 45 caliber. We'll just double click that. That adds the pistol to our inventory. And then here is the clips for that pistol. So we'll just double click and you can see the clip at being added there. Two clips and that's fine. All right, so let's go to backpacks and uh, give him a backpack. Let's give him a assault pack coyote. And we'll add that so now you can see that there. Let's go to magazines and let's add some regular grenades. And here they are. So we've got RGN. We'll just give him about four of those. And we've got RGOs, we'll give them a couple of those. And let's give them some smoke. So we'll give them some uh, white smoke, one grenade of that. Next, let's go to items. And let's add some more first aid kits. So let's scroll down. Here it is, first aid kit. So let's just double click and add a couple more. So what you do now is go to save gear. You click on that. And you click on one of these loadouts clear that box and then just type in what you want so let's see brand a uh, deer two we'll just save that and it'll add all those items into the inventory there you just close that that's it so we can close this and this is what our guy has now if we go to our inventory you could see what inventory he has. So we got a couple of those. We got our gun, some clips, grenade rounds, and there you have it. Alright, go back to virtual ammo box. Let's say you wanted to load a different loadout. So we go to load gear. Let's choose the machine gunner loadout. You click on that and it automatically switches to the next loadout. It's the machine gunner loadout. And there we go. When you go to load gear, let's say we choose this loadout. And you could choose this right here, load on respawn. So if you're playing in multiplayer, you just click on that and that enables this loadout to basically load after you respawn and of course you have transfer and just remember you could delete these too so that's how that works now let's go back to the editor and I want to show you something with the code so let's go to the code let's open the ammo box so this is an add action this basically adds the function to open the virtual ammo box so right here is a code for the color of the word virtual ammo box so as you can see in the screen it says virtual ammo box you can make that say systems if you want I'm going to show you how to change this color so this right here is a hex code what that's for is it defines a color for this word so let's go to our desktop and I'm going to show you a website that you could use to change the color back on the github virtual ammo box system here is a website that I will link in the description of the video this website is called the rapid tables RGB color code chart and if we scroll down to where the uh, color codes are which is right here you can actually create your own colors of what you want and let's see if we scroll down further here is the rgb color table so basically the current color that's in that code is number fff and four zeros so if we go to the virtual github and look at the code here this is the add action that was in our ammo box and this one says number fff 111 and that is, 
well that's a custom color so yeah that's a custom color that tonic used for that color so let's do this let's what you do is if, if you want to change the color is you grab this number you want the hex code this you want the hex code so let's grab yellow and you just copy that highlight it press control C and let's go back into the editor and change the color back in our mission so let's edit the ammo box and what you do now is we're gonna go to this code in between the two lines here you're gonna press control V that's gonna paste the hex code once you have that just hit OK and we'll save that and take a look alright so we walk up to the ammo box scroll our action menu and now you can see on the left it says virtual ammo box systems because I, I renamed it and and it's also in yellow so we hit that and there you go alright let's go back to the editor I want to show you guys one more thing and what we're gonna do is we're gonna open the scenario folder and we're gonna go over how you can further configure this script. So open scenario folder. Back in our mission folder, what you're gonna do now is if you want to further configure the script, you go into the boss folder itself. Just double click to open it. And in here you're gonna see a bunch of scripts. And the script that we're gonna look at is called config.sqf. This the script. Don't mess with anything else. Just open the config.sqf. So just double click it. You can open it with Notepad or Notepad++. This config has a lot of different options. So at the top here it says allow player to respond with his loadout. If true, unit will respond with all ammo from initial save. Set to false to disable this and rely on other scripts. Right here it says VAS on respawn equals true. Like it says here, if set to true, unit will respond with all ammo from initial save. So the save is your loadout. So this is true, will basically respawn. Now this is if you're playing multiplayer. I don't think it's gonna, it's not really going to apply to single player because you can't respawn in single player. But if you have a pre-loadout config, that means yes, that's your loadouts that you've saved. That's gonna be reloaded. Here's another one, it says if limiting weapons, it's probably best to set this to true so people aren't loading custom loadouts with restricted gear. So basically, if you don't want your gear restricted and you wanna choose whatever stuff you want, then leave this as false. Here is the amount of save load slots. What that means is in the customization where you, let's say you chose your loadout, your weapons, your gear, your ammo, your backpack, backpacks etc let's say you made 15 loadouts this allows for a number of slots so if you create 20 loadouts and right here there's only 14 slots you can't save any more than 14 loadouts so what you do is you increase this to 20 as it says here starts from 0 to whatever you set so always remember when setting a number to minus by 1 12 would be 11, etc. So it's always one number down. Next line down, it says disable VAS, hasn't finished loading. Check, only recommended for those that use Acre and other large add-ons. This is safety check. You could probably leave this as false, but uh, if you use Acre, then use as true. For more codes and scripts, take a look at this playlist.